Hello everyone. Welcome back to Crockett Creek Brewery. Thank you for joining me this evening. I wanted to come on here and do a short, quick video for all those of you who may be interested in starting home brewing yourselves, but you're lacking some of the necessary materials you'll need to get started. But before I do that, I've been trying to improve the lighting in my videos so that I can produce better quality content for you guys so I hope this is better and if it is or if you have any feedback for me on how to better improve my videos please let me know down in the comments below now let's get back to our topic I was in a quandary the other day I wanted to make a fruit wine made with whole fruits blackberries to be specific but I didn't have enough room in my one gallon carboy like this one. Not only is it difficult to get the fruit out of the little bitty hole in the top, but once you add your fruit, they get clogged in the top of your carboy and cause it to boil over and spew everywhere and it could potentially cause your airlock to shoot out the top. So I was in the market for a brew bucket now I do already have one and you've seen me use it before. This is a five gallon size brew bucket. I can easily add any fermentables into this bucket. If I can get the lid off. There we go. You can add anything you want into this bucket and easily get it out. However, if you make a brew that is less than three gallons, you are adding extra oxygen to that brew, which could cause bacterial infections or turn your entire batch to vinegar. I wanted to make a bunch of experimental gallons in a one gallon to two gallon size. So I began to search the internet for two to two and a half gallon beer buckets, or brewing buckets as they're called. I found several online for about $20, and that's not a bad price. But it got my wheels turning, and I came up with a better solution. Before I show you this, ignore all of this behind me. I'm gonna be doing another video here very shortly tonight and we're gonna be making a very interesting wine. So stay tuned to this channel for that. I made this to solve my solution. And I made this completely out of materials I found at my local hardware store. My local Home Depot, I bought a two gallon bucket with a lid and I drilled a half inch sized hole in the top of my bucket which fits a 3 8 inch sized rubber grommet. That is the perfect size you need for an airlock. And this only cost me $5.50 to make. So I saved $15 by making my own. That's something to keep in mind for any of y'all who are interested in starting home brewing, but you don't know where to begin. A brew bucket is a wonderful idea. Before you get into buying the uh, glass carboys, which can cost you anywhere from $10 to $15 a piece. You can make two gallons in this. Now, there's one thing you need to keep in mind. You need to make sure that whatever plastic containers you use for fermentation are food grade. And this is not actually certified as a food grade plastic. However, if you look on the top of the lid, you'll see a little icon that looks like the recycling symbol, but it's shaped like a triangle. And this one says HDPE2. That is the type of plastic they use to make this bucket. Now, HDPE type 1 and 2 are actually certified by the FDA as food grade materials. So I knew this was safe for any beverages I was going to make in it. 
but a word of warning. If you use this type of plastic, and you may or may not have the same problems I do, if you use a plastic like this that is not actually certified by the FDA as food grade, and you begin to taste a plastic, oily taste in your brews, stop using that bucket immediately and get a different kind of plastic. Preferably one that is certified by the FDA as food grade. They're just a little more expensive. I have no worries about this bucket. I think it's going to serve a wonderful purpose. I have sanitized it, washed it, dried it, cleaned it, and re-sanitized it, fitted it with an airlock, and it's going to work great for what we're going to make tonight in my next video. So thank you all for joining me tonight. I hope you'll make this on your own. I hope you'll get started in, in home brewing and join me in this wonderful journey as we relive some of the recipes and uh, experiences that our ancestors have used for the last thousand years. Thank you all for joining me. We'll see you shortly on the next video. Bye now.